Hey everybody, Vicarious Viking here with another Binding of Isaac Rebirth update. So Edmund has teased a couple of things this week, the new intro music for the game, and some of the menu screens as well. You're hearing the intro music right now as a background to my voice, and if you'd like to hear it without me blabbing over top of it, you can find the link in the description. So let's talk about the music. The intro song is called Genesis 2210. I like it, it's good, but I don't find it quite as good as the original game's music. Really any of it, at the risk of sounding unpopular, that's just my opinion. However, it is good, but the thing is, the old music is probably some of the best music that I've ever heard in a video game, ever. It's awesome. I love it. That said, though, I'm actually really glad that they're making new music for the game, because even though I might like the original better, and it will always hold a special place in my heart, the new music is shaping up to be pretty good, and variety, man. I also love variety. And maybe it just hasn't had time to grow on me yet, right? Maybe when I actually get the game and play it, it will just fit perfectly, and I'll love it. Let's take a look at some of this menu screen stuff. Some of it's pretty cool. Just keep in mind that it is all still rough and it's gonna have quite a bit more polish when the full game is actually released. So here we have the title screen. It looks very nice. And here we have the save files, which we have seen before, but for those who missed it, there you go, multiple saves. Next we have this screen, which has new run, continue challenges, stats options, which is all pretty self-explanatory. Here we have the options screen. You'll be able to adjust audio levels, your map opacity. That's gonna be the transparency of your mini map in game. Full screen on off filter. I don't know what it is, but I can imagine that it's gonna be a visual filter of some kind. Uh, gamma and then controls are gonna be your key bindings. The next screen we get to see are the challenge screens. Now it goes pretty fast past the bottom half of this, but there is 20 in total and uh, we get to see the names of about 10 of them. I'm not gonna bore you with my opinion on what I think all of these are, but feel free to discuss it in the comments below. Just know that Edmund has said that most all of the challenges will contain all new items. Here we have the character select screen. Unfortunately, it doesn't show any of the new playable characters, but if you take a look on the left, there's some weird icons. I can't make them out though. Um, also, take a look at the top right. You'll see it says press enter to input a seed. So so that means that seated runs are very much going to be a thing, which should make a lot of people happy. Finally, the first room of the game in all its pixelite glory. That's going to do it for this Rebirth update, guys. I want to thank you very much for watching. If you guys want to see more Rebirth updates, feel free to check out my channel. Leave a like if you like the video. It does help out quite a bit. And if you'd like to be notified of when I come out with new Rebirth updates or any other videos, feel free to subscribe. My name is Vicarious Viking. You guys have a great day, and I will see you later.